Management, Mr. Jesse Jarvis. Uh, all right, uh, your next comic, he's a recent winner of the Richmond Clash of the Comics at the Funny Bone. Um, definitely one of my favorite cats who's come on the scene in the last year. Uh, give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for Mr. Chris White. Uh, hey, everybody, I'm Chris. How's it going? Yeah. Uh, that's good. Y'all don't really care how I'm doing. Um, let's just get into it. I'm from like a super conservative family, conservative Catholic family. Uh, we had like an event the other day. There's always events. There's always like family dinners and stuff. I was in the living room with my dad and my brother-in-law and like my sisters and my mom were in the kitchen cleaning up the dishes and everything. Um, I had like this fleeting thought for a second. I was like, I wonder if when I get married, I'll be in the kitchen cleaning up talking shop with all the other ladies. <laughs> Can you believe what Susan was wearing? Same thing as Kathy, am I right? What? <laughs> it's a faux pas, it's a social faux pas, everybody. To wear the same outfit. <laughs> Jeez. Sometimes I just think like, I had like, my, like, I just got crossed wires at like birth, you know? It's like, cause, I, I was just raised around like a lot of women and, I don't know, I'm just waiting for my Princess Charming to come sweep me off my feet. <laughs> Take me to my destination wedding. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a destination wedding. Uh, you know, one thing people have been like talking about recently is big data. Like, big data is a term. <laughs> Like, you know, Facebook and the NSA are collecting little pieces of data to, like, you know, put together and be able to, like, I don't know, predict things or whatever else. Uh, a lot of people up in arms about this are like, whoa, what happened to privacy? What happened to my Fourth Amendment rights? I'm pretty sure I'm the only person who's like, yeah, I don't really give a shit. Like, <laughs> what are they gonna find out? This dude ordered pizza on a Thursday via the internet so he didn't have to talk to another human being. <laughs> that is sad. <laughs> pretty sure the guy at the NSA who read my file uh, hung himself. <laughs> Just left a note that was like, don't do it, don't go in there, man. <laughs> At least that's what I, I like to think. I don't do, I, I don't have anything to hide. Someone, I was talking to someone about that and they were like, I mean, just don't look up how to build a bomb shelter anymore. It's like, or, or just get a book, man. Like, fuck that. Don't look up how to build a bomb shelter on the internet anyway. It's probably a lie. The internet's <laughs> I don't know, I'm a little self-deprecating, and a lot of people are like, Chris, you're a big guy, you know? If I was your size, if I had your size, I'd just be aggressive and get whatever I wanted out of life. Uh, and that's all well and good until I actually start getting aggressive and everyone's like, whoa, come on. You just put a hole in the wall. I think Mark's in a coma. <laughs> It's okay, Mark's okay. He's not actually the co <laughs> He's made up. I made him up for that joke. <laughs> no, I don't know. It's, it's just tough being a big guy. I will say that, like, I don't know. I think I'm just a tired old man. I'm 26 years old now. You know, I've seen some shit. You ever seen a man die? Yes, yeah. No, oh, I haven't. I, <laughs> I didn't expect that. Um, no, but like, I think I'm, I'm just tired, I'm just ready to, ready to clock in retirement, you know. Um, I don't think I'm old because like, you know, just because I keep butterscotch candies and mints in a dish next to my couch, my throat gets dry. You know? Or, you know, the fact that I like soup and grilled cheese sandwiches, but who doesn't? I'm an American. <laughs> It's a cheese joke, American cheese. Boom. <laughs> Roasted. <laughs> no, mainly I think I'm just.
is like old because I've, I've started becoming a lot like my parents in the fact that like I don't speed at all. Like I, I don't like speeding because if you think about it, cars are two-ton machines uh, that run on explosions. They're metal <laughs> machines, that run on explosions. and those ex explosions fueled by dead dinosaur. That's fucking, <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm just like acutely aware, like. And people drive crazy. I just like, I fully stop before we stops because I really think that it's like, I'm gonna run this and then a tractor trailer is just gonna pull it's like, I'm gonna die. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much where I am. Um, I, I, I got one more for you guys. I, uh, I wish I was a time traveler. Um, not to, not to do like anything cool, but like, you know, just kind of go back in time and tell my 19-year-old self, like, hey, don't do heroin, you'll turn into this, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. My name's Chris. Woo! Chris Miley is in Uh, your next comic. This guy has become one of my favorite people just to watch on stage. Like, I just love watching this guy do his thing. Uh, I think you're gonna love him, too. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for Mr. Brandon Best Witch! Yeah, 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 yeah. High five. Hi, hi, guys! Hi, 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 hi. 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 Good goodness. Guys, I found a new app recently. It's called Grinder. I'm not sure what it's for. <laughs> I've been meeting really nice guys, they've been buying all of my drinks, but I have found this. Uh, Kahlua really makes my butt sore. <laughs> Might be a lactose intolerant thing, I don't know, I'm spreading the message out there. Uh, guys, I'm on Tinder. Surprise! Um, I'm on Tinder, and I recently was on a date with a girl from Tinder, and like, the night was getting late, I was tired, I yawned. And she immediately jammed her fingers down my throat. <laughs> I was like, excuse me. She's like, well, it's pretty rude to yawn and not cover your mouth. <laughs> it's pretty rude to jam your fingers down my throat. Like, you're not my dance mom. Back off! <laughs> that joke uh, hits home for me. I was a little Mr. Top Heavy, 1994. <laughs> so, uh, a lot of layers there. Uh, guys, I, I want to uh, kill myself, but I'm too much of a pussy to do it like with a gun or a knife. Um, so I'm going with a long con with obesity. <laughs> like, I'm just real, okay? I know how my intervention's gonna go. It's not gonna be me booting up heroin in the bathroom. It's gonna be me with like a syringe of insulin in my ass, jamming all the food I can in my mouth before my parents like sent me to fat camp. <laughs> okay, I'm realistic, I'm sorry. Like, um... <laughs> Like I, I have a serious, like I have a food problem, but the, the difference is like with the food problem and a drug problem, like you you can't just be like hey stop eating, like I, I have to eat. So it's like telling a crackhead, it's like telling a crackhead like okay here's the thing you need to smoke crack five times a day, <laughs> right? Tiny hits, okay? You want to get your metabolism going. <laughs> yeah, that's totally gonna work for me. Um, Guys, the NFL is doing Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Uh, if you don't know what that means, that means a DB will uh, punch your boobs like speed bags. <laughs> yeah, that's a visual for you. Um, like, but it's crazy. Like, there's so much misogyny. Like, I don't buy that for a second that they care at all. Um, but like, I just see so much misogyny even in like breast cancer stuff. Like, I was driving around and someone had a sticker that said, "Show us your tits." And it was in pink, so I guess it was for breast cancer. But it's like, holy shit, like how much massage, like I, there's a, there is a slogan for sports clubs, it's, it's, it's good to be a man, or it's good to be a guy. It's like, no shit, right? Better pay, less creeps, and no one says, show us your tits. Oh, oh it's for cancer research. Like granted, some people would sh shout, show us your tits, but I was in eighth grade, and it was a weird time for me. <laughs> You gotta be popular at school for one reason or another. <laughs> Guys, uh, hipster couples freak me out, right? Like, this will really divide the Richmond room. Um, hipster couples freak me out. When I see them walking towards me on the street, I, it looks like they're related. 
right? It looks like a cartoonist was asking a haste to draw a couple, and he was like, ah, throw the same jeans on them and the same hair. <laughs> Just give that one tits and we'll call it a day. <laughs> Boom, take that, hipsters. Oh, uh, <laughs> Guys, there's this really um, ghetto guy at my work uh, who has, like, pants with de decals, decals on the decals on the back. Um, and today, he had a pair of pants, and it looked like a face. It had two eyes over each pocket. And uh, I watch a lot of nature documentaries, so my mind immediately went there. I was like, this man has let evolution find a way to scare dicks away from his anus. <laughs> the homophobia has manifested itself in some sort of natural selection. Um, <laughs> well, I'll get a punch for that one, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, um, like, speaking of my work, like, I work with a lot of African-American people, and, like, I, I've realized that I, I think we're moving forward as races. Like, I think it, there's a lot of similarities that, like, that weren't there 20 years ago. Like, um, in a conversation casually, I heard a 50-year-old African-American woman, uh, mother of two, like, just drop uh, a pop song lyric. She's like, and you know, they don't give no awards for that. I was like, all right. See, for me, that hits home because my dad would say the same shit about Miley Cyrus, but like in the white vernacular, he'd be like, yeah, she has the moves like Jagger. <laughs> and like, I immediately saw the connection. I was like, oh, we're not that different, you guys. Uh, uh, guys, my penis and I are the Abbott and Costello of shame. I mean, Laurel and Hardy. God damn it, throw that joke out. I'm sorry. Jesse, I'm sorry, buddy. Um, all right, I'll leave you guys with this. Uh, I've been getting into weirder and weirder porn, like progressively weirder porn. Like it started out fairly normal, just Eskimo kissing. Like two people rubbing their noses together, right? Harmless. Uh, but it's progressed and now I'm into Eskimo bukkake. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, it's uh, six dudes standing around one girl and they just keep sneezing on her over and over. Thank you guys, I've been Brandon Beswick. Please bring Jesse back up to the stage. Thanks, man. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Brandon Beswick, give it up for him one more time. Like, like he was about to tell you a very good analogy about himself. He was going to share something with you. He was about to explain to you why his dick is the laurel and hardy of shame. And why is that, Mr. Bestwick? Well, because I'm fat and he's thin and we're always in trouble. That's a perfect premise! Give it up for Brandon Bestwick! I fucking love that joke so much. Alright, uh, your next comic, ladies and gentlemen, uh, also a huge fan of this dude, another one of my favorite guys who's come out into the scene. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the very funny Mr. Neil Heltzel. Awesome, thank you guys. So as you might have heard, I have a, a bit of an unusual last name. It's uh, Heltzel, which is uh, very German. It's uh, one of those violent German ones. Like, people kind of flinch when they hear it. But, ew, sorry. Uh, last name is Leibowitz, so it's genetic. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I run, but uh, it's very hard to uh, pronounce, and I run into problems a lot, uh, especially at, at bars where I have to give my last name for tabs. Like, uh, it happened the other night. I uh, went to get a beer from the bartender. Uh, we ended up going back and forth for like a couple minutes or trying to figure out my last name. Eventually I just get frustrated and I say, it's the one that scares you. And uh, that seemed to work. Like she nodded her head and walked off. Um, fast forward to the end of the night. My tab had been completely comped, which was great news for me. But terrible news for Jerome Tibbs. <laughs> Got a much larger bill than he expected. <laughs> As again, she thought it was scary because he was black. So I was on Facebook. <laughs> scrolling through my Facebook pictures and I, uh, I realized that uh, I had like the same uh, photo for like uh, the past like eight years, uh, which is just me with a bunch of drunk assholes. Like, that's like my go-to for the past eight years. I realized like, if I die tomorrow, they're not, my parents aren't gonna be able to like, use any of that. Like, if I die tomorrow, at my funeral, it's just gonna be like a wreath and then my seventh grade yearbook photo. <laughs> my parents just standing there, it's like, this is the last acceptable picture we have of this is bullshit. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> Well, like, even if I die as, like, an old man, this dude's gonna be, like, this, uh, 
like eight year gap in like my timelines. Like, oh, what happened here? It just goes from like 17 to 30. Yeah, those were pop up strange years. We <laughs> we don't talk about those. <laughs> Oh, uh, so, uh, other than Richmond, I don't have any tattoos. Feel free to boo me for that. <laughs> Good for you. Uh, thank you, Austin. Um, <laughs> well, it's not that I'm like, against tattoos or anything. I just haven't seen anything that I'm okay with having on my body forever. Because, like, you hear a lot of people regret, uh, talk about tattoos that they regret getting, but never tattoos that they regret not getting. Like, no one's ever been on their deathbed, like, asked if they have any last, uh, had any, like, regrets. It's like, yes, just one. <laughs> if I could do it all over again, I would have gotten that <laughs> tattoo of Tweety Bird smoking a joint when I was 18. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, it's a life of flawless decisions, but... <laughs> there's always that one. If only I had gotten those Red Hot Chili Pepper lyrics tattooed <laughs> on my back. <laughs> How's that one song go? Hang chang drang chong ding yeah. Time, time of stuff. <laughs> what else I got? Uh, so I work in a kitchen for a living. Uh, I work at a bar in Richmond here, and um, it, it's a pretty cool place. It's a uh, kind of a weird vibe. It's got like a family-friendly punk rock vibe. Like, they're like, we play classic rock in the dining room, but our servers have tattoos! What? <laughs> Who does that? Is that a septum piercing? What is going on here? <laughs> well, no, it's an alright job, but uh, I work in the, the kitchen, and it's an all-male kitchen staff with a uh, all-female kitchen staff. Uh, Wake staff. So uh, anytime uh, one of the members of the wake staff likes to uh, come back to the kitchen, I have the same joke every time. I like to go, uh, "Women don't belong in the kitchen," which always kind of throws them for a loop. <laughs> like that is so sexist. Don't no, no, let me get back to you. <laughs> yeah, you women need to know your place, which is out in the front of the house, making more money than I do. <laughs> Now get your ass back out there and let me make you a sandwich. <laughs> now your place, ladies, that's all I'm saying. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, like I said, I work in a kitchen uh, right now. Um, I, uh, but uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing it for much longer because I uh, stumbled upon an exciting career opportunity the other day. What happened was, uh, I was high inside of 7-Eleven. <laughs> And I realized I can be the new CEO of Doritos tomorrow. <laughs> Have you seen what they're doing now? It's like flat out irresponsible, is what it is. Have you seen those, like, those uh, cheesy colon blasters, whatever they're called? I don't know. Cheesy colon Well, seriously, I, I like, dreamt of that like three weeks before it came out. It's got to a point where like every time they unveil a new product, I think like, they sent some sort of inception, like, extraction team into my dreams, and then they meet the next day back at Doritos headquarters, like, all right, so what we got? Well, everything started off normal. Uh, things took a violent turn. We uh, lost a couple people. We went too deep! But, uh, you're not gonna believe what this fucking kid thought of. Long story short, we're gonna start making ice cream. <laughs> you guys like that idea, don't you? Anyway. <laughs> That joke really doesn't have an ending, so uh, I'm just gonna get out of here. Thanks a lot, guys. My name's Neil. <laughs> Neil Hustle, I love that dude. Let him hear it. Get it out. All right. <laughs>